This is an art attack? This is an art attack. This is Art Attack! <laughs> Now then, is your room cluttered with old sweet papers, scraps of paper, and other bits of rubbish that you've left strewn all over the floor? What you need is a garbage gobbler. Come and have a look at this. And believe it or not, the whole thing is made out of old bits of newspaper. Now, you need to take three small-sized newspapers and open one of them out so that the centre pages are facing up, and just with a bit of sticky tape, tape all the pieces of paper together at the top of the centre crease and at the bottom of the centre crease, and then do exactly the same with a second newspaper, and just put it on top of your first one with the centre pages facing down. So the two centre pages are touching, and you've got two newspapers, one on top of the other, with all the pieces of paper taped together. Then take a stapler, and just staple together all of the pages of both newspapers together down the two sides. Not the top or the bottom, just do them down the two sides. And if you haven't got a stapler, try and borrow one. Maybe you could take it to school and do it at school. You can use tape for this, but it's a lot stronger if you use a stapler. And do us a favour, if you're doing any stapling, watch your fingers. Or better still, get someone else to do it. And when the two sides are really secure, nicely stapled together, lift the whole thing up and stand it up by opening out the two newspapers like that so you have a sort of box shape. And then take your third newspaper and just loosely place it on the top like that. And notice it's too big, it doesn't fit. You've got this overhanging edge. Well, just fold that over and just tape it into place. It's a bit tricky to do, so you might need to get someone to hold the newspaper underneath for you and put loads of tape on. I'm just doing one bit to show you. Tape the overhang over all the way around, really securely, loads of tape, so when you've done it, it looks like this. And look at this. Hey, presto, no overhang. I've taped all those bits together, nicely secure. You can see the overhang is taped down there as well. And then flip it over, and there you have a bin shape. But let's face it, bins are boring. We want a garbage gobbler. And to make the garbage gobbler, you need to make a mouth and some eyes. Now, to make the mouth, scrunch up about six sheets of newspaper into a sort of sausage shape. And just tape the sausage, both ends. Again, I'm doing this really quickly. I always do on Art Attack, don't I? I have to do it really quickly to show you, but you can take a lot more time over this. Tape that sausage in place like this, and then make another sausage out of six sheets of newspaper again, and just overlap the two of them together, and tape the two of them together, right in the middle, like that. So, in actual fact, you have a very long sausage. And the idea is to curl that into the top rim, or the top edge, of your bin shape. And just curl it all the way round. And you notice where it overlaps, just there. Hold it in place and tape the overlap together. And then the tricky bit. Just fold the top rim of the bin shape around that mouth or around that lip, because that's what it is, it's a garbage gobbler's lips, and tape it as you're going, tape it into place securely. Quite tricky to do, so take some time doing it, and when you've taped it in place, you'll have something that looks like that. And see that? The garbage gobbler's lip is nicely folded in the top rim and taped securely in place. And to make the eyes, scrunch up two balls of newspaper. You need about three sheets of newspaper in each ball and just tape them securely to that top edge, like that. And to make the whole thing a lot more secure, mix some PVA glue, two parts glue, one part water, and you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to slop it on 
all over my garbage gobbler and just pop on some kitchen roll for this one. Kitchen roll is nice and strong. You can use tissue paper or loo roll. You might have to do two layers of it and just slap the glue on. And you cover the eyes, you cover the lips and the bottom and the sides of your garbage gobbler. And you can even fold it slightly down into the mouth, but don't, don't go all the way down inside the mouth. It's a waste of time. And then when you've done the whole garbage gobbler, you'll have something that looks like this. And you know what I usually say at this stage? I usually say, leave it to dry overnight. Well, shock horror, don't leave it to dry overnight. It's at this stage, whilst it's still damp, that you just pull down that top rim to create the mouth of the garbage gobbler. And you just want it pulled down on one side, and because it's still wet, you can crunch it down. And see that? The eyes come down to one side as well. And then you leave it to one side to dry. And when it's dry, very important, you wait for it to dry, paint it up. Paint it garbage gobbler colour. Don't ask me what garbage gobbler colour it is. I'm using poster paint or acrylic paint, maybe a nice green or a yucky purple or something. And this one isn't quite dry yet, but I'm still going to paint on it just to show you. Just slop the paint on, and you can design your own garbage gobbler. And when you've painted the whole thing, you'll have something that looks like this. There it is. And see what I've done here? I've painted it green, I've given purple lips, and I've given a red mouth inside, and I've put in some detail with a marker pen on the eyes. And then you just pop him, or her, under your desk, next to your bed, or better still, on the other side of your room, so that then it's great fun to try and throw the rubbish in. Yes, I've been practising that all day. And you could even try this. If you cut out a cardboard tongue and pad it out with some newspaper and some hands and feet and take them to your garbage gobbler before you cover it with kitchen roll and paint it up, it looks like that. Brilliant, isn't it? Try it yourself. Gobble your garbage with a garbage gobbler. Hello! Now, you open up two newspapers and stape them together to make a box. Because it's just a case of covering it with tissue and PVA glue. A really great groovy way to gobble your garbage! <laughs>
这个，不准在地上拼凑大型图案。嗯，哦哦哦哦哦哦哦，别跑，把地上的东西都给我收好，回来。I watered down the paint in some of my picture to make things look in the distance. Hello, my name is Anthony. I watered down my colours in stages to make some things look nearer than others. Ah, what a brilliant idea and great fun to do, creating a picture using watered down layers of paint. Now, for the first layer, I'm going to use an awful lot of water and not much paint because I'm going to paint the distance in my picture and the further you get into the distance then the more water you put into your paint and there's hardly any paint in this at all and let's just see if you can guess what it is i'm painting Before you go on to the next layer, let that first layer dry. And when it's completely dry, put on your second layer of paint, this time slightly thicker, slightly less water, and do the middle distance. So here we go. what it is yet. And when you've done that, again, wait for it to dry. And for the foreground, lots more paint and less water. So here we go. And then I'm just going to use a slightly smaller brush to put in just a little bit of detail in that foreground, not too much there. Yeah, I'll bet you can guess by now what it is I'm doing. And again, I'm just going to let that layer dry. And at each stage, I'm just putting in slightly more paint and slightly more detail the nearer the picture gets to you. I'm waiting for the stage before it to dry. And finally, some pure black paint, no water, for some fine detail. And 
there it is. Try it yourself. A layered, watered-down picture. And I'll see you next time. Ta-ra!